throughout November, YTWE 18 Plus is dedicating every single show to No Shave November as we join them on their mission to grow cancer awareness and raise funds to support cancer prevention, research and education. This is a war we must fight together. Please visit No Shave on Twitter and at noshave.org and help us support this fantastic cause. We shall never surrender. Warning. This video is not for minors. The characters used in this e-federation have all given their consent. This material is make-believe and has been rated M for mature. If video game violence offends you, please click out of this video now. 18 and older only for super caution. Thank you. Welcome to the Halloween Anarchy Post Show Address where tonight we will hear from some of last night's competitors and take a look at what went down. I say last night, I mean Sunday night, Joe. I am totally fucked up right now. Don't worry about it, Mr. D. We'll get a little bit fucked up sometime, but let's get this thing going, man, because I can't wait to see what these guys have to say about it. We kicked off this historical night with a historical match. The first ever final of the Scott Casey Gale E-Bed Invitational Tournament. Oh yes, Mr. D, and what a final it was. Bringer of Rain versus Hexen, both men bringing their best, bringing their absolute A-game in this tournament. Absolutely, they went through, they had to go through an incredible field of talent to make it to this final. Every man in this tournament, a boss in their own right, you know, quality talent, great wrestlers, but it was these two guys right here, Hexen, bringer of rain, that made it. Yes, it was, and you know, you couldn't have asked more from them, really. They brought everything, they gave everything in this whole tournament, man. And you know, I said from the start, bringer of rain, was my pick to win it and you know what I wasn't far wrong I wasn't far wrong at all he came close but on the night it was Hexen and that 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 is a huge achievement a huge accomplishment the first ever Scott Casey Gale E-Fed Invitational Champion absolutely right Mr. D and you know we saw that was the second choke slam Hexen uh, hit on Bringer of Rain, but I think it was that first one in the top left hand corner where Bringer hit the back of his head on them turnbuckles. That was the move that changed the momentum and the pace of the match. You could be quite right there, Joe. You know, it's a dirty whack to the back of the head, but no excuses. Hexen came out on top. He is the champ of the tournament. Well done, Hexen. Well, we're going to hear from Bringer of Rain and Hexen on their thoughts on Halloween Anarchy. YTWE18+, Plus, I told you that you would be a part of something big. I've been speaking about it for weeks. And people are looking at me right now, but Bringer, you lost the Scott Casey Gale E-Fed Invitational Tournament. Who cares? Who cares? I came this close. It would have been icing on the cake, but it was not the ultimate goal. The ultimate goal was to prove a point. The ultimate goal was to show everyone what I had to offer the YTWE 18+. Plus. And winning the tournament, it would have been sweet. And Hexen, I will say this to you. Congratulations. For now. Sooner or later, we're going to have to revisit this situation. And I promise you, next time, the outcome will be different. The sun shines on a dog's ass every once in a while. And that was your time to shine, I guess. <laughs> but, for weeks, I've been telling you that you would all be a part of something bigger. 
DeVito hits me up on the cell phone. He says, I need somebody. I need an ass kicker on my squad. I need a champion. I need a legend. So he reached out to me. He hits me up on the cell phone. Of course I accept. Why wouldn't I? I mean, how would you not take advantage of that situation? To be in the ring with five of the other top stars in the YTWE 18 Plus. It was the perfect opportunity to showcase my abilities to the man, the boss himself, Mr. DeVito. Now I think I did my part. I think I did it pretty damn well. I kicked a bunch of people's asses, showed how tough I was, proved my worth to the boss. Now it's on to bigger and better things. I now proclaim myself in the World Heavyweight Championship hunt. Yeah, I got a little bit of the taste of the champ there, Mr. Robert Rage. I can't wait to get a shot at you once again, hopefully for that World Heavyweight title, if it's still around your waist, because I know there's a lot of people that are targeting you. Rest assured, one day we'll face off again, and I will take that belt from you. This I promise. But before that, before that, there's somebody else. See, I laid a beating on your two partners, but I didn't really get a chance to show you what I'm all about, Boston fan. Yeah, that's right, Boston fan. We're from the same area. We're from the town, baby. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. Heard a lot about you. Probably the greatest intercontinental champion the YTWE 18 Plus has ever had. Well, I gotta be honest with you. Not too impressed by that. Intercontinental championships are for mid-carders. I'm used to being at the top of the food chain. I've said this once before. I meant it. World Heavyweight Championships or bust. But in this, this instant, this occasion, I'm going to make an exception. Because Boston fan, I want to make an example out of you. I want to show everybody in the YTWE 18 Plus who the toughest New Englander in this organization is. And Boston fan, I'm going to make a fan of you. When I say I'm going to do something, I keep to my word. I have won the Scott Casey Gale EFED Invitational Tournament. Dark Horse, Travis Sparks, Bringer of Rain. Down. But if you think, if you think that this is the end of Hexen in the YTWE 18 Plus, well, I've got some news for you. I have decided that I'm going to stick around this place. And I'm going to take more souls, more bodies, more people. And I'm going to break more men. And like every other place I have been, I will climb up and take what I deserve. What I deserve is the YTWE World Heavyweight title. And that's what I'm going to be coming for very soon. You have not seen the last of me. Because I never die. You all better get used to me. You all better get used to pain. Because 
It has only just begun. You all should expect me. <laughs> And then we had our triple threat steel cage match to determine the new number one contender for the ladies championship. And you know these three ladies went at it something hard. You know not one of them gave an inch. There were so many missed Boston boots and super mum punches. You know it was crazy but Cajun Tinkerbell was the one that climbed that cage and walked out with a number one contendership. Oh yes she was, I mean, this match had the potential to go either way, any lady could have won this match, but it was Cajun Tinkerbell who came out the victor. And you know what, I said it on the night, Boston Chicky, Lily Blessed, both stood in the ring at the end, it reminds me of Rick Rude and the Ultimate Warrior. I think there's gonna be a fight down the road for these three. I wouldn't be surprised at all, Mr. D. And then, Joe, we had planned this Intercontinental Championship match. Gavin Fletcher, Barney Green, King of the Monsters. But Barney didn't make his way down to the ring, did he, Joe? No, he didn't. David Rivera changed the plan changed what was supposed to happen and he attacked Barney Green in the backstage area and then attacked Gavin Fletcher and brutalised both men. Well I'll tell you this, I found out what happened to Barney. David pepper sprayed him, put some mace in his face, that's what fucked him up and then he took a blade to him, he's cut him, most of it is superficial wounds, they will heal in good time and I'm pretty sure Barney Green if he's up for it can come back and get his revenge on David Rivera but as it is David I am stripping you of your number one contendership you are being punished We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. David Rivera. David fucking Rivera. I hope you are listening to me loud and fucking clear, you little fucking cunt. After what you did to me, let alone what you did to Barney fucking Green at the pay-per-view. I'm highly pissed off with you. Last week I gave you some friendly advice. And you didn't take that friendly advice. You decided to take the law in your own hands, didn't you, David? Now, here's the thing is, you probably highly pissed off Mr. D, which I can understand. But the one thing you don't want to do is piss off the first British IC champion of the YTWE 18+. You do not want to piss me off. Because, David... When I was actually highly surprised, when I warned Barney Green about me, do not let the monster within come out in me. I was highly surprised with you, David, that you had a monster within you. Now here's the thing is, to say you're still a young kid, you're whining, complaining, etc. How things are done round here. And you've not earned your spot. You've not earned your people's respect. That's why you have never been a champion in this organisation. But one thing that actually really surprised me, David, with you, is the way you did that to Barney Green. Let alone you didn't even wash away the evidence. You look like you were proud of what you did to Barney Green, leaving him in his own pool of his own blood. Now the thing is, though, David, you decided to attack me as well. You didn't have to attack me. The thing is, you decide to do it whilst I was backstage warming up for my match. No idea what you did to Barney Green until I heard people talk whilst I was actually getting glued up, 
stitched up, stapled up, after all the damage you did to me. And you decide to put me through a table. Funny that. A reoccurrence. It's like deja vu all over again. But David. David, I'm warning you now. I gave you friendly advice last week. And you do not want to piss me off. Because David. How about you watch me you for a fucking change? Well, trick or treat motherfuckers. Because I was able to prove that how much I wanted to be... In that YTWE 18 plus Intercontinental Championship match, and I was able to make a statement by taking out Barney Green, by taking out Gabby Knots, like I did to Simon Michael HD, and they're gonna be able to join the both, the both of them. Yes, they will be joining Simon Michael HD in the hospital. So, if you got a problem with that, Mr. D, you should have seen this one coming because I did say one way or another. I was going to be able to interfere and make myself a part of that matchup. Well, the matchup didn't really exactly happen, but the beatdown definitely made a statement. So, Mr. D, if you have a problem with that, and I saw your matchup that you were a part of, and that was cool and everything, so if you want to find me, you can do whatever you want. But the fact of the matter is, if you do have a problem with that, you can come face me if you have the guts and... I've seen you in action before, so I'm sure you wouldn't have a problem in doing so. So I'm going to be able to give you that chance if you want to. And then I can finally get the YTWA AT Plus in the kind of the championship. So once Gavin Nuts is ready, hell, even if Barney Green is ready, because I've been able to go up against Barney Green and be able to beat him down before, I'm not afraid to do it again. So having someone. Monsters as that doesn't scare me at all, but now that Halloween is over But now things are getting to be able to get into bigger things now for the instant classic I Told you to watch me move, but I also told you to watch your backs, too Well after David Rivera attacked Gavin Fletcher and Barney Green, we had a triple threat table match to determine the new number one contender for the World Championship with Chris H. Collier, Tucker Zone, and I love to rant. On the ropes, but not on the floor, Tucker Zone beckons forth for more as Tucker Zone was victorious. The man is a fighter and he proved it right here in this table match becoming the new number one contender yes absolutely mr d a, a worthy man to win this match and become the new number one contender in this incredible triple threat tables match yes indeed tucker zone quality geezer so is collier so is jb you know all three of these guys quality guys but tucker you are gonna get your world title shot against Robert Rage very, very soon. The costume party, the six man tag, this was fucking big time, Joe. Yes, it was, Mr. D. This six man tag for me, as a wrestling fan, was match of the night. You know, not to take anything away from the rest of the show, the rest of the matches, the main event. This was the best match of the night. It was an incredible match, and I'm not just saying that because I was in it, although that obviously helped out fucking big time. But you know, we had some incredible talent. Five, six of the very best in E Fed wrestling, and I'm including Bringer of Rain in that because he came to that match. He did what I needed him to do, and he delivered fucking big time. Yes, absolutely right. You know, from, from starting the tournament to getting to the finals to almost winning the tournament, and then wrestling in a huge six-man tag, the sub-main event, and, you know, delivering the way he did, you know, proving that he's worthy to be out there with five of the best. That's a big deal, man. Well, you know, bring a done it for me, and I will repay the favour to bring her. You know, I'll help him out. He's not gonna get 
a free ride here in my TWE. Nobody does, but I will repay that favour, and I'll let you know that at a later date. But man, Boston fan, I've got to say this. I tried my dandest to pin that motherfucker, and he wouldn't stay down. And the same goes for Robert Rage. Man, those two bastards are determined. Yes, they are, yes. Well, Robert Rage especially, Mr. D. You know, um, he, he waited a long time just to get his hands on you. You know, it's obviously not what he wants. You know, he still wants that one-on-one -on -one regardless of what you may think. Um, what do you think? What do I think? I think he's a troll trying to troll me. So I've been trolling him all fucking year long and not giving him what he wants. Simple as that. But Robert Rage, I think now's the time where I may, I may just give the doggies day. Well, it's, it's long overdue, Mr. D, and, you know, he's, he said that he won't stop until he gets it. You know, he won't stop until he beats you one-on-one. -on -one. That's that's what he wants to, that's ultimately what he needs to do to prove himself here. Sounds to me like Robert Rage needs a new hobby, because that, that's not a good one, Joe. He's going to be there to an old, till he's an old man, and he is never going to finish his stamp collection, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's, he may be waiting, yeah, till he's an old man, but I still don't think he'll stop. Well, good luck to him, but you know, I, I hopefully am done with these three guys now. You know, I want to stay back, concentrate on the commentating and the running of the shows. Hopefully, I don't get challenged by any more jumps up little bastards that want to challenge the bus challenge each other if something goes wrong out there don't blame me don't get on my case get on each other's case if some cunt jumps you moan at him don't moan at me this place is a fucking jungle alright there are wild bastard creatures everywhere ready to rip you up Everybody wants the next man's spot. And I'm telling you, nobody is taking my spot because I am the fucking governor. And if you don't like that tough shit, you better get used to it. It's the way it is. But everybody else out there is fighting like a beast to be at the top. You understand that, Joe? Yeah, of course I do, Mr. Lee. But I'm just a commentator, you know. I'm not. I'm not out there wrestling and putting my body and my life on the line like these guys are. So, exactly, and that's the point. I want to hang back. I want to commentate. I want to run the show. I'm the king of the jungle, and that's the way it is. The rest of these guys fight it out for the gold. Oh my dear, Mr. D. See, I'm not the one to raise my voice and get all mad and pissed off. You did screw me out of one thing, the Halloween Anarchy. By your adept fucking referee. Right, call Nara. Oh, the ring red. bomb! That's the one, the red bomb! Man, these guys need to do something right now. Bring us in Mr. shit. Mr. Face distracting the referee. I'm just getting down at one. Two. Three, Mark move. Four, five. Man, you have the pin. But that's okay, because I've told you I am going to make you trust me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. I want a fucking match with you. No bullshit. One on one. That's all. Y T W E eighteen plus. Shut up and listen to what I have to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen. Halloween Anarchy 
has come to pass. That's right. And just like things in life, things that you plan for, things don't exactly work out according to those plans. And you know, this snake came this close to getting his head chopped off thanks to Big Daddy Riley. But I'm still here, aren't I? And you know, that match was explosive. It was chaotic. It was anarchy. That's right. Total anarchy, chaos, destruction. But you know what? It seems like the heroes prevailed. Never again. But there is one single solitary fact that has come out of this. And that is you, Mr. D. It seems that you don't have what it takes anymore. You don't. Not at all. No matter what you tried, D, you couldn't hold me down, could you? Oh no, no matter what you tried. A big old kick to the face, splashes off the top rope, you name it. You couldn't get the job done with me. So here's what I'm gonna do for you, D. I'm gonna issue you a challenge to meet me in the pit for a one-on-one -on -one match. Because we all know, deep in your gut, you know you can't get the job done against me. I am a former two-time Intercontinental Champion, and there is no one, no one on this roster that is going to take the place of what I did with that belt. Nobody. And D, do you accept my challenge? Do you want to go one-on-one -on -one with a snake again? Except in a one-on-one -on -one encounter. Because I'll have you know, D, even an anaconda can swallow an alligator. You are prey. You will be my next blood meal. And I see you've got yourself a new little protege. That's right. Your new little protege, somebody to replace me. Well, I'll tell you what. I am irreplace a bull. Mr. D, you have William, the bringer of rain. Some sewer rat. You got for the Scott Casey Gale EFED Invitational Tournament. And you're keeping him on board. Why? He's a freelancer. And you signed him. He's nothing but a sewer rat. He's worthless. You know, you had high hopes for him and he couldn't get the job done against Hexen. He's got a lot of shortcomings. Doesn't he, D? Bringer of rain. You know, you're like that useless husband that can't satisfy his wife anymore. Your shortcomings. <laughs> so, D, you can have your gutter punk, your sewer rat. Accept my challenge, D, to meet me in the pit. <laughs> is in the history books and what a history making night it was hmm <laughs> mr d i only got a small piece of you a minute fraction of what i wanted from you 
But you see, before that match, it crossed my mind that maybe you have missed a step, that maybe you haven't got it anymore. But you proved that in fact you do have it. <laughs> you haven't missed a step. And I don't know how this feeling could grow even more, but after that match it has the feeling of wanting to wrestle you again. Prove that I can beat you has grown dramatically. But there are other people who want to challenge me, who want a shot at my championship. The championship I have worked three long fucking years to get my hands on and you've only been here for a cup of coffee. Bringer of Rain and Hexen. <laughs> you think just because you say the words it's magically going to happen? No, 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 no. You earn your fucking stripes around here, boys. Doesn't happen just because you say it in a promo. But Mr. D, my team may have lost, but it wasn't me who got pinned. It was the weak link that got pinned. Boston fan. The man I never wanted to team with. But you forced it. You booked the match. And the weak link lost. So Mr. D. Stop fucking about. Stop booking these six man tags. And stop booking me with other people. Stop throwing obstacles in my way. And why don't you try be my obstacle. For my championship. The YCWE 18 plus world heavyweight champion. And then it was our main event, Hell in a Cell women's title match, Mistress Moon May challenging Cameo. And man did these two ladies go at it, they are both in a bit of a bad way after this. And you know, I am sending my absolute love and best wishes to both these women and I hope to see you both back here yeah, in a week. You know, I know they're going to be in tip top shape because they are survivors they are two of the toughest women on the planet trust me absolutely right you know and could other you know could other women have, have done this match you know and, and been as as and done what these two ladies did in this match i don't think so i don't know you know we've got a lot of tough ladies in the ytwe including people like karina kaboom and my sister, Cat Riley, you know? So, maybe down the line, Joe, we'll see the ladies in another Hell in a Cell match. But for now, this was a history-making night. We did it the same night as the big company, the company that forces us to show their branding in our arenas, because they obviously rule the cosmos. But you know, <laughs> uh, we did it the same night. We announced it before them, not saying they stole our idea. But you know, they had a great night with it. They did a great thing with it. And it was meaningful. And it was the same right here in the YTWE. This was historical and meaningful. And not only that, my grandmother became the new women's world champion. Oh yes, she did, Mr. D. For the first time here in the YTWE, Mistress Mume overcame the odds, you know, because it may have people may have thought she was going into this match as the underdog, but she proved those doubters wrong and she won the championship. Looks can be deceiving with my nana. She is one of the toughest people you will ever meet. And I know Rent with Jeff himself actually said he would fight her. And you know what, Jeff? Next time we're in London, we'll do it. You and Moo, mate, one on one. But right here, Joe, Francis McGuinness showed up. 
and itself didn't get involved but had a clear interest in the match and oh man that right there Joe that fall oh, that that was repulsive yeah it was a slow-mo uh, replay here and I don't know how Cameo survived that landing man that's man that was a slap from hell all my nana did was slap her and she fell back through that hole that was vicious nana well done cameo i love you i love you both i love all my women this is quality many moons ago a man named bruno was burned at the stake for opening the skies to people's eyes and showing them that there was more than just what they believe and that is exactly what I have done here in the YTWE however I will not be burned at the stake in the middle of the street like Bruno no I am the governor this is my jungle David Rivera you little wild animal I saw what you did to Barney Green to Gavin Fletcher and I have stripped you of your IC title shot if you really want to fight me it will make me feel like a bully to kick the shit out of you but I will give you that match and I'll give it to you the third week of November however rant with Jeff the first week of November I will grant you your wish little gremlin me and you one on one no bullshit Boston fan you can have week number two and I will chop the head off of that snake once and for all but you know what I'll tie it in with Robert Rage so in week four Boston fan if you beat me in week two you will get a world title shot in week four if I beat you I will get it because our match will be a number one contenders match Hexen Bringer yes you have a leg up A because you helped me out B because you won the tournament Hexen you have a leg up but you still have dues to pay you still have to earn your way here in the YTWE so ladies and gentlemen do not miss a show in November and remember it is No Shave November go check out their website and join today <laughs>